नमस्कार दोस्तों मैं हूं अनिरुद्ध आप सभी का रसिवल गुरु जी और स्वैग से स्वागत है आप सभी का मेरे चैनल में कैसे आप लोग होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर सेफ अगेन अ हैप्पी दिवाली टू ऑल ऑफ यू पीपल एंड आल्सो इन योर डिमांड आई हैव अगेन इनवाइटेड अ साइन एक्चुअली हुज हुज नोन लिटरली बाय हिज पैकेज रादर देन हिज नेम टू सम एक्सटेंड सॉरी टू से यू दैट बट क्योंकि थंबनेल में वही लिखा हुआ था बड़ा जो कि दैट्स व्हाई इन योर प्रीवियस वीडियो uh but yes uh, many students are very much curious to know about uh you know many things actually i will come uh, to them one by one jaise ki mere paas do questions i have i will come to them one by one firstly the students have asked about how you have prepared your resume and secondly the students have asked about the interview questions i will come to them one by one let's start with your resume first that how to write a super effective resume to attract the attention of the interviewers first of all thank you anirudh sir for inviting Aray, me sir, to the channel <laughs> don't call me sir sir bahut sarv sa lagta hai call me don sorry please <laughs> okay so don sir thank you for inviting me to your channel okay thank I'm you too much grateful and happy diwali to you and so let us start so pehle you asked about resume right yeah um so for the resume it took me around to be very honest one to two months to prepare my resume um the you can use various tools to create your resume like microsoft word microsoft excel latex some people use canva also uh, i used microsoft excel to prepare my resume so that you know all the lines are placed in perfect order in order and in a in a proper orientation and indentation mm. uh, so Uh, my resume is open in front of me so i will use it as a reference to answer your question so first of all in the resume i mentioned my information like my name email id linkedin profile etc in the first part and in the subsequent section uh, we need to mention our academic details like which board we studied from um, our btech college uh, impact masters college if applicable uh, and if you can mention the cgpa and the year of graduation next uh, point is regarding the scholastic achievements this is not uh, very important but if you have some good achievements you can mention then only right you can skip the otherwise matlab aise mat likh dena right first division mila otherwise <laughs> second exactly. division aise mat likh dena kuch bhi agar relevant hai aur tumko lagta hai ki bahut acche achievement hai likhne raha hai then only right ha otherwise you can skip the hmm. next the most yeah yeah however the most important section is regarding your academic projects like when i re- prepared my resume i did not have any job experience mm. so i did not mention about the job experience but if someone is having job experience first of all write about your job experience and then write about your major <laughs> academic projects like which projects you did in your masters in your btech and if you did some internships also mention that in a bullet point okay uh, this i think Uh, constitutes the most important part of your resume, and I think if like you first write it down in a piece of paper, like which are the points you are going to mention in this part, and then only write like prepare the final. Uh, yes. Yeah, so sorry final to interrupt post. you once, uh, Sir, that you know in academic projects yeah. what you are saying. So uh, I mm-hmm. think you have mentioned both about your B Tech as well as M Tech projects, right? Yes. So M Tech project. B Tech and M Tech M Tech projects. Hmm. Project at the beginning. After that, followed by your B Tech project. I guess you have written right. Yeah. It should be mentioned in a chronological order. You know? Yes. First yes, of yes. all, the latest M Tech, hmm. then followed by B Tech. Exactly. And exactly. The latest one and the first. Yeah. Latest one at the first. Yeah. Hmm. In that order, you can mention the different points. Mm-hmm. And the first point should be your job experience. If you are having a job experience, but when mm-hmm. I prepared my resume, I did not have any. job experience so i did mm. not write about that yeah and most of the But students of actually all, who are uh, there i don't think that they would be having a job experience most of them i think 90% yes, of them you, would be freshers only yeah okay then you should start with your btech and mtech project whichever yeah. is relevant to you mm-hmm. yeah and one more point is in this section you should also write the the period during which you did that like for example mtech project from January two thousand nineteen to June two thousand twenty. Whichever period you 
did that particular task you yeah. should mention yeah. that uh, period at the right hand corner and then you can write two or three bullet points regarding that particular project that you mentioned mm-hmm. <clears throat> so this constitutes the main part of your resume the next part will be about your e course projects so since your audience is mostly from i think freshers mm-hmm. so they must be doing some like academic projects like like mm-hmm. we used to be during our masters mm-hmm. um the, the professors used to assign some group tasks yes like yes team mein kuch kaam karo teen char projects kuch mm-hmm. kuch we do, used to do it individually mm-hmm. so if you think that the company that you are going to apply mm-hmm. those projects might be relevant to that particular job profile yeah then you can mention some of those projects and also mention that particularly what you did in that project yeah otherwise it becomes a bit vague uh, one yes, or two yes. points about what you did in that particular project and also so i think uh, uh, be, i think i think sorry to interrupt again uh, so i think you know what he wanted to say was that suppose if you don't have or you didn't do anything relevant to the job you are applying for then just don't write it right am i correct yes Yes. Yeah. You so, need to be very clear that you don't write any irrelevant details because yes. the interviewer will ask you questions. Whatever you are mentioning in your CV, which we are, we are going to discuss later, the interview will scrutinize each and every point. So if yes. you think it is not relevant, it is better not to mention it in the resume. मतलब उतना ही फेंको जितना लपेट सकते हो, ठीक है? बाकी, okay, fine. It's Going over to the next. <laughs> Depend कर सकते हो उतना ही फेंको. <laughs> Next point is uh, regarding positions of responsibility. Mm. Maybe I think it is a bit critical because the interviewer will like to see if you uh, have done some responsible actions in your college college days. Mm. So for, for me, I like what you have mentioned. Points, like for, mm. yeah, for example, like department coordinator, or you have been a mentor to your juniors mm. or maintenance secretary. teaching assistant like some of the uh, pr positions of Position responsibility, responsibility you have yeah. you can mention mm. Mm. and if you are currently in a college then i will recommend that take up some pr if possible this will you know help. it will help and tumhara cv thoda acha dikhega compared to other people if you have some pr I'm sorry to uh, interrupt you again. So, as I said, you know, I have seen and what I have seen actually that what he has written and mentioned in the POR. So, this is uh, from that actually what I have learned and I wanted to share with you is that suppose if you don't have any POR, so that you know you didn't, uh, you are not selected as department coordinators, you are you are not selected as as uh, something like that, any coordinator or something. At least two points you will be definitely having. The first one is teaching course, assistant, yeah. right? Yeah. Two points you are going definitely having because you are you know uh, getting paid for that particular job. The twelve thousand four hundred rupees you are being paid for that particular thing. There is teaching assistantship number one, or research assistantship if you are uh, you know an RA <laughs> fellow actually. And the second thing is that you are a guide or a mentor to the students, uh, junior students actually. So these two things will be at least at least in your hand, even if you did not get or hold. any other posts so uh, that thing we have learned actually yes sir continue please yes uh okay so the next point is regarding the key courses mm. and, and this point will be very relevant to the job profile that you are going to apply mm. for example in my case if i am going to apply for a environmental position mm. then the key courses that i should mention is like design of water and waste water systems Mm. then risk analysis introduction to risk analysis of environment mm. environmental modeling etc mm. so this we so can what what was the exact designation of yours currently actually i mean the what is the post that you have applied for in that company this is this cv is for my core core profile so i created two cvs one for my core profile and one for the non core profile yes so this i am saying with respect to the core profile yeah if this had been pertaining to the non core profile then the key courses would be like machine learning deep learning yes. artificial intelligence no the job that you are currently doing that is definitely non core profile job right that is that is a non core profile i would not say fully non core but 
partially like 30 percent core and 70 percent is yes. one course. So in this particular case, what were the key courses that you have mentioned? Did you mention both the core and non-core or specifically case, core? I had mentioned some courses which are pertaining to both actually. For example, introduction to risk analysis is a non-core. Yes. But what we have done in the class is pertaining to code, like exactly so the application part example, of that hmm. ap application. Yeah, then environmental statistics is a core subject, but since it contains statistics, it also merges with the non code. Excellent. So in that hmm. way, you can combine some points which are both contributing to your core by core profile and non core profile. Got it. Hmm. So that can help. So this will be very like objective to the job profile that you are uh, trying to apply exactly if it is specifically very non core oriented then you should mention the machine learning coding in python those things and okay. if it is fully core then of course design of water and wastewater yes air pollution those things okay okay, okay. so basically what we have learned that two CVs are mandatory if you are preparing for both core and non-core, mm. which most of the people do actually because they are not very much certain or definite about what they are going to do. This is very, be, to be very honest, right? And nobody can just say that, okay, fine, I'm getting into IIT Bombay and hence prove that I'm going to get a non-core job. It is not possible. So it's definitely to be on the safer side, you have to create both the yeah. CVs. Yeah. Mm. So any other point you would like to mention regarding CVs? Come to the next section later, actually. You can also mention some of your technical skills and this part will also be very uh, relevant to the profile that you are applying. Mm -hmm. For example, for environmental profile, things like, you know, BioWin, Ipanet, mm -hmm. that you used to do the modeling. Those I mean, the softwares or something like that, right? Anything. So softwares, yes. The technical softwares that mm -hmm. you had used for your mm -hmm. project or you mm -hmm. have some knowledge. And mm -hmm. if it is non-core, then things like Python, MATLAB, mm. Java, those kinds of technical skills will be helpful. Yes. And last but not the least, you should also mention about your extracurricular activities. Yes, yes, very important. This, this I and, mentioned. And this, this constituted, you know, I remember regarding my CV that this used to be the mm. biggest portion of my CV actually, uh, barring the other okay. thing. <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> okay, please continue, San. But so what what you should write add, actually in, in good good points to write yes yes because you know I have but also you, uh, you know seen some cases actually that there they uh, write you know photography or something like that so if I say in some mock interviews or something if I say just show me a photograph or something like that if I say yes say I'm a yeah, singer yeah, yeah. Then, then sing a song for me okay if I say then it obviously is, if you fail to do it so be be ready to you know prove yourself whatever you are written. There is very high chance that if you write that I am a very good singer, then they will ask you please sing a song for me. Yes. Or then you need like you need to sing according to some yes, standards. Yes. Otherwise, they will say or, that. Or or suppose if you are written if if you are a photographer, so you should have certain things actually certain photograph of yours yes. to uh, you know mm -hmm. uh, furnish before them that look I have done this kind of photographies or I have won some awards yes. or whatever actually. You should have some proof of your work. Otherwise, exactly. Otherwise, don't write if it. If they catch you, if they catch you that you have written a, an incorrect point just to fill up your CV, then to blacklist questions to push again, you are gone. Uh, okay. Uh, so uh, thank you, Sian, uh, for this part of the video. That thank is you. your uh, uh, resume part.